Marion berries are legendary for their sweet taste, but did you know that Oregon's most famous berry can also be one of the most elusive? Chloe Hauser is in Dundee to explain why and to get a look at this year's harvest in tonight's PDX TV reports. Marion berries can be kind of hard to find right now for a couple reasons. First, only 5% of the crop is sold fresh. And second, summer was a little late this year, so the crop is just a bit behind. This year's harvest um, in Oregon is about a week and a half behind. So um, we just, that, that little bit of cold spring has kind of led us to um, have to be here uh, picking a little later than usual. So you didn't have Marion berries for the 4th of July picnic, but you've got them for the rest of your summer barbecues. Even though the berries are a little late this year, it's not all bad news. The crop that Linda Strand and her team are harvesting from Columbia Empire Farms looks to be bigger than last year. The Marion berry is temperamental. It needs just the right conditions to grow. And this weather has been pretty close to perfect. Although most Oregonians were not too happy with all the rain, where it was good for the berries, and uh, it's been a nice kind of warm summer, but not too warm. And so they've ripened real nicely. And now comes the harvest. Big machines straddle the rows and gently shake the ripe berries onto a conveyor belt. Then the berries are put onto flats and taken to the on-site processing plant. There, the berries are washed, sorted, and put into containers to be frozen for jam and other products. All of the Marion berries harvested here are frozen within 90 minutes of being picked. Linda says the jam is fantastic, but there's one thing you do have to do when visiting the farm. There's something about fruit right off the right off the cane that is just so sweet and so yummy. They're warm, they're just mm -hmm. yum. Another delicious thing about Marion berries is the financial benefit to Oregon. All of the berries consumed in the entire U.S. are grown right here. And last year's crop brought in around $22 million. It's a really sweet crop and we really get a lot of sweet success out of it. You remember I told you only 5% of the crop is sold fresh? You can find it at farmer's markets and at the Oregon Berry Festival. It's happening at the EcoTrust building Friday and Saturday this weekend. For more information, log on to kbtv.com. I'm Chloe Hauser, 8 o'clock news. Well, we have some other culinary delights to tell you about.